Today it's official at the Connor James Ranch. We've had almost every type of weather I can think of this winter. Started with rain, which led to mud problems. We've had snow, we've had Arctic freeze, and now we've had the dreaded ice storm hit last night. So, gotta feed the cattle. I actually just unrolled some bales of hay for them. Come along uh, for a little while today. Let's talk about some of the issues we've had. All right, so this just looks like it's just snow. Might be compacted snow. But last night we had some freezing rain come in and got about a tenth of an inch of ice. And uh, you know, just walking here, every step is treacherous. You just never know if you're gonna bite the dust. So, you know, they were kind of waffling back and forth. Oh, we might get some snow, might be some rain. And it came in early this morning, freezing rain. So the roads have just been awful. Uh, driving real slow. I'm only driving in four wheel drive and going 20 miles an hour with my hazards on. I'm not going to risk it because it's uh, it's treacherous. I've actually already fallen two or three times out here. Even this ground, this looks not too scary, but it's uh, it's icy. So you put too much weight the wrong way, you're going down. So we've had a little bit of tree issues. Um, I noticed in the back part of the ranch, on the other side of the pond, we have a neighbor who had a tree that fell down right on our fence. So that actually happened, um, actually happened, I think, two days ago, not even from the ice last night, just from the, the Arctic temps and having having some of the, the moisture freezing the tree. They had a huge tree fall in their own yard and a medium-sized tree fall on across our fence. So I need to go back there and get out the fence and assess um, if uh, what needs to happen there. I haven't moved the cattle back there this winter thus far, just mainly because of the weather we've had. It's just been bizarre. We started out the winter in December with rain, which led to some mud problems. I documented that a little bit with some of our, our hay situation, trying to get hay out over at the home place. And then we got a wet snow the night of January 8th, which, um, you know, snow and wet and the animals and cold, that's not great. And then that led into the Arctic temperatures that the whole country has faced and last night we got ice and then what's coming next is we're gonna do a, a big warm-up we're here here to the end of the month they're calling for temperatures to climb up into the 40s into the low 50s so that's gonna melt all this moisture which is gonna lead us probably full circle back into some mud so um, need to start prepping for that so that we can get hay pulled out get it where we need to so we're not running into those those same mud issues that we had um, early in early to mid December. So because of all the crazy weather we've had, uh, just snow and cold, um, our water situation here at the ranch, we're either letting the cattle drink out of the pond, which I actually don't do very often. One because it's a lot of runoff from the golf course next door, so I don't really know what's in the water. Um, there's only one rotation where I have them drink out of the pond for one day. Otherwise, we either use um, we have some spigots around the property that we use, or we, we haul it in. They're just, uh, just up the road up there, but a quarter mile, there's a water station. So looking forward to trying to do some different different plants. We don't have to do that, but we're just unrolling hay right now. And you can see in this front pasture, especially in the in the wintertime here with the snow, oh man, you can see how much, how much uh, hay we've unrolled. We're rolling out two bales a day and just look at all the fertility the manure, the carbon we're putting down. Really interested here at the Carter James to put almost cover the entire property with hay. You can see here, this is uh, still, they got a little bit residual. So lots of carbon here, but wanting to make sure they're getting plenty to eat so that they are maintaining their temperatures as we have this moisture, you know, this wet cold. But especially in the back patch where we've got some buck brush and some different uh, plants like that. We will focus um, on having the cattle back there a lot over the next month and we're gonna unroll just a, a ton of hay. So it's just really, really good to unroll all this stuff. I've talked in past videos, well, I, I bought some oat hay this year. The cattle love the oat hay. I just did a short the other day why I love the oat hay. They love the oats and it's also straw. They don't eat all the stock, so it's basically, it's, it's just straw so they can bed down in it. I unrolled a bale of oat hay first, then I unrolled a bale of brome. I usually do it the other way. Roll the, roll the brome out first and then the oat hay, but I did the oat hay first. And that's primarily what they're eating on. Probably about 
80% of them are eating on the out hay first and now they're some of them are moving over to the brown. But lo love just seeing this, you know, they clean it up. We've got a very thin residual layer left and um, it's gonna hopefully gonna pay us dividends come this spring and this summer. So here we are, January 22nd, I believe. Hard to believe that in two months we're gonna be calving already. So 96 here, she should be bred. Should be due in, see so she calved in, uh, in May last year. So she's given, uh, she's given us two heifers in a row. The South Poles have done real well. Uh, so have the Wagyu though. The cattle have performed really well throughout this whole ordeal. Uh, I mentioned in a short this past week, the cold has just caused some problems with being able to move the cattle. If I haven't already had a, a reel of electric fence set up, the ground is so hard, like we can't put stakes in unless uh, I got a suggestion the other day about drilling holes with a drill. That's about what you got to do to get it in and then um, good luck pulling them out. Uh, although I did, was able to pull out two broken ones today, uh, just kicking them a little with my foot. The ground is starting to thaw a little bit now that we're above freezing temperatures. We're going to have highs of 36 today and then tomorrow we're up in the 40s. But hey Comanche, but so far everyone's doing pretty dang good. So, oh boy. Eventually, I'm gonna go get you some of this brome over here. So the herd is uh, settled in. Everyone's done great. The calves have stayed safe. Oh, I'll tell you this. The other day, I was at the uh, at the home place with the wagyu, and I've always heard horror stories about cattle and ponds in the winter time. Well, I've had the wagyu pent up. If you've seen some of our videos, what we did, I just kept them pent up in the corral through the cold, just so I could control their water. Uh, situation. Well, I let them out into the back pasture yesterday and went down to the back pond and started trying to chop um, chop a hole of ice. That ice was over six inches thick. I couldn't even get down to the water and nor did I want to walk all the way out far enough to gamble with that. But while I was doing it, all the cattle come walking over and two, two yearlings just go walking around on the ice and start slipping and sliding and they slide out there about 10 feet. I about had a, I about had a coronary. I was thinking, oh my gosh, this is a mess. So I just abandoned that and and um, went and got them some water and some in some troughs and put it up near their hay. Just so I was like, man, I don't need them messing around over in that pond. So that'd be the last thing I want to find. I have to try to rescue or find someone that died that way. So, but all the calves came through. I was a little worried about all the calves, but. Gave them plenty to eat, they bedded down, they did have access to the stable. But the the water situation in these really cold temperatures is the thing I really worry about. But we came through that pretty unscathed, just a little bit of a hassle trying to make sure things are staying staying liquid, chopping ice, making sure heaters are staying staying on. Thankfully, we did not have any power outages. Whenever you get these ice storms, you can have power outages, and we've had none of that. So so it's been uh, it's been a long two weeks here, but um, this ice storm is is uh, not fun to deal with today. But the next uh, couple weeks we're supposed to be warming up, so we could sure use that. And I'm sure everyone will like the warm temperatures. So we're doing well. Continue just to keep keep pushing on uh, getting ready for spring, putting down fertility, and uh, boy, it's going to come quick. So that's the update after the storm. Uh, last thing I want to say is it's interesting to me that seemed like this past year the whole country's really struggled with drought and then this whole in the winter time here everyone got blasted at the same time with these arctic temps so interesting how sometimes the weather is very regional and localized and there are times it's takes huge huge swaths of the u.s but the cattle are doing doing really well so thanks all for watching everybody god bless you where you are have a great day and we'll see you next time